Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. So in this lecture, we are going to see one exercise related to the sweep and fillet feature in SolidWorks. So these are two very important tools and we are going to cover up in this exercise. So what exercise that I'm talking about? I'm talking about this exercise. Basically, it's a very complex looking exercise, but it becomes very easy if we are going to use those tools like sweep and fillets. So we are going to see how to just create this. So before going for the SOLIDWORKS and start creating this exercise, we are going to discuss about the approach, how I'm going to approach it. Basically over here, you can see that if I'm going to create this uh, rectangle or block, you can see that its value is 50 plus 19, which is 69 over here. And then basically it has 45 and then it's a 10 of the thickness. And so it will going to create a base. And on this base, we are going to create this feature using the sweep. You can see that its dimension from this part to this part it is given 100 uh, but we are not going to take 100 because 100 is still this end point and you can see that this feature is ending 2 mm before this 100. Yes all the dimensions are in mm so it means that this whole dimension is 98 and from this part to this part this height is 75. So this is how we are going to approach this. For that I am going to start my solid works and I am going to start a new fresh page. I am going to create a part design. The first thing that you have to do is to just make sure that you are using the correct unit. So we are inside the MMGS. It means that we are in the correct unit. Now, if I'm going to click on this sketch, you can see that all the three planes are available. I'm going to click on this right plane and I'm going to create a rectangle on it. We are going to go for the center rectangle. Just select the center point. And the dimension that I'm going to take is this one as 69. And this dimension, which is this one as 45. So these are the two dimensions that we have to take. I've written 45. Just make it OK. And now this is perfect. Just make it exit and just go for its feature. Just extrude it to the height of 10 mm that is provided. So right now, by default, it has taken 10. So we are not going to change the value. Just make it OK. And this is the extrusion that we have done. Now we are going to create this feature, which is this arm like structure. So that we are going to create it using the sweep feature, which is this one over here. If you know about the sweep, it requires a path and it requires a feature and it will going to create a body according to the path. If you don't know about the sweep, then just follow this exercises and follow this exercise basically. And you will go, you don't know, going to know about the sweep. So for that, I'm going to click on this face and firstly, since sweep, the first thing it requires the path. So I'm going to create a path first. So I'm going to select this face. I'm going to create a sketch on it. Just make it normal. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a path. So for the path, I'm going to select a line and I'm going to create a line like this. So this is what our path will going to look like. And to dimension this part, we are going to select this point and this point. So from this point to this point, this dimension we have provided, it is provided basically, which is 100 minus 2 mm, which is from here, it is two more. So it will be 98. Just make it okay. And now this vertical one. So here it is provided that till center, it is 75. So we are going to take the smart dimension. We are going to make this point to this point as vertically as 75. Now our path is ready. Now it's time to create the feature that we want to sweep. So for that, I'm going to exit the sketch. And we are going to create the feature. So if you want to see the feature, how it will going to look like, if I'm going to make it section view, it will going to look like, like this. So this is how it, this feature will going to look like. Let me just create it on the SOLIDWORKS and you will going to better understand after that. I'm going to select this face and I'm going to click on the sketch on it. I'm going to make it normal. And firstly, I'm going to create a corner rectangle. And from this corner, from this point to like this, I'm going to create a rectangle. Just dimension this rectangle. What is the value that is given? This height is 10 over here. And what will be this length? So you can see that this length, we can calculate it using this circle. This circle is of diameter 38. 
and it is attached to this section from full length so from one point to another point so this length or this strip length will also going to be at 38 so we have got the length which is over here it is this dimension as 38 let's make the value as 38 let's make it okay and this this thickness we required as 10 mm that is provided just make it 10 just make it okay and you can see that this is how it will going to be done now just make it normal again we are going to create one more feature and you can see that here why i am using this sweep, uh, sweep feature because of this thing you can see that how beautifully it will going to be created if i'm going to use a sweep feature so it's a 10 and 10 box that is at a 19 distance so once I'm going to once I'm going to create it, you can find it, it how what it will going to look like. So I'm going to create a box or and its dimension will be 10 from this part. This part will be 10. Let's go for the dimension. This part, let's just dimension it first. This will be 10. Just make it okay. And this part, this dimension will also going to be 10. Just make it okay again. And now this value is 19. So the value that I'm talking about is from this point to this point, it is 19 over here. So just make it 19. Just this is 19. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just okay so this is not 19 basically the 19 will be at the center so the center will be at 19 sorry so we have to delete this and we have to make the center as 19 so just delete this one just go for the smart dimension and from this center part which is the center line over here this center point and this value is 19 over here So I have just written a 19, just make it okay, just press the enter and you can see that now this is perfect. Now here we have to trim this inside part. So just go for the trim, just go for the power trim and just trim out this part. Now our feature is ready. If I'm going to exit this one, you can see that this is what our feature will going to look like. So this is our complete feature. If I'm going to change the view over here. If I'm going to make it this, you can see that this is the feature that is going to be swept and this is the path that it will going to follow. And the moment I'm going to create a sweep, you will see that how beautifully and how easily it will going to create that feature. So for the feature, I'm going to select this complete path. Make sure that this is the complete closed feature. And for the path, I'm going to select this one. Just make it OK and you can see that how it will going to create it. Change the view to this one. You can see that this is how this feature is looking. Now uh, we have to do the editing work. We are going to use it, do it fastly over here. That is, we are going to create a circle over here first. So I'm going to select this face and I'm going to create a circle on it. I'm going to select a sketch. I'm going to make it normal and I'm going to create a circle. And that the circle will going to touch this part, which is end to end. Let's make it exit. And here we are going to extrude it. Here the extrusion calculation is required. On the other side, its value is 3. So from this part to this part, it is 3. And from this part to this part, it will be 25 minus 3, which is 21. If you are not able to find out, just you can see that from this part to this part, it is 3. But completely is 25. So we are going to exclude this 3, which is 20, uh, 22. For, sorry. So we are going for the dimension. I'm going to select this dimension as 3 over here. And we are going for the second direction. We are going to select this one as 22. So now you can see that it is done. Just press make it OK. Now the feature is ready. Now it's cutting part. We have to cut out the feature. So I'm going to select the sketch on it. Just make it normal. and 
just create a circle feature over here create it anywhere and just use the constraints to just define it so i'm going to select this i'm going to select these two circles and i'm going to make it as coincentric yes now what will be the dimension of this circle which is i think 16 so yes it is 16 over here just go for the smart dimension just make this one as 16 over here just make it okay and now we have to cut it throughout so just go for the okay over here just make it exit just go for the feature and select the suit cut just cut it out throughout which is you have to cut it out throughout this one just make it okay and that's it now we have ready we have just created this feature now it's time to just create this fillets later on we are going to or we are going to create this circle first i'm going to select this face again i'm going to create a sketch on it just make it normal just follow it just create it with me and you will find it more easy i'm going to create a circle over here and i'm going to create it at a 18 and 22 distance and the radius will be again 16. so the center will be from this part to this part if you are not finding out the dimension what i'm talking about basically you can just pause the video for a while and you can just find figure it out which dimension i am selecting and you can find then you can find it easy just select this point to this edge and make this one as 22 just make it okay and now the radius value or the diameter value basically which is 16 just provide it the 16 value just make it exit just go for the feature just make the extrude cut and just cut it out throughout now once done we are completed with our basic structure you can see that now it's time for the fillets now you can see the magic over here so this is the radius that we are going to again provide it using the fillet so just go for the fillet uh, just just select this edge which is this one over here and just provide the radius value as 25 you can see how magic magic will going to happen with the fillets it will going to create this feature very instantly so i have provided 25 on this edge and you can see that how it will going to look like now similarly to create this which is the radius of 30 i'm going to select the fillet again i'm going to select this edge and i'm going to make this edge as 30 over here just make it okay and you can see the magic now just make it okay and you can see it it has created it again and now for this features which is 25 over here so this just go for the fillet just select this outermost edge and just make it as the 25 just make it okay you can see that it will going to create a feature like this and then the radius of the outermost over there is 5 and if i want to calculate the radius of this edge which is this one which is 15 which is 5 over here just add a 10 and that becomes 15 so just go for this again and just create a fillet again just make select this edge and just make this one as 5 first just make it okay and you can see that the 5 radius will going to be available now and then the last which is again just go for the fillet and just select this edge and this edge and make this one as 15 just make it okay and you can see that there is fillet now now there is one more small fillet over here you can see it in the design over here you can see that there is a fillet this value is not provided but it will be two because it is touching with the edges of this circle so we are going to select this and make this value as two just make it okay And you can see that now finally the figure is ready 
So you can see that this how this complex feature can be easily made if you know the right tool to use, which is the fillet and uh, sweep over here. It it is looking like a very uh, complex structure if I'm going to talk about this arcs and all, but you can see that how easily it can be prepared if you know how to use the fillet as well as sweep. So this is all about this lecture. If you liked it, make sure that you subscribe this channel for more updates and just like this video and just keep on sharing it with your friends to make uh, this video available for your friends as well. And we are going to catch up you in the next video.